I would like to thank the administration for meeting with the school library committee today. We are very excited about our presentation and look forward to sharing it with you. Here is a quick outline of our presentation. We will first be talking about our program itself, the objectives of it, and our target audience, as well as what inspired this program. We'll talk about the rationale behind creating this uh, library program, as well as the benefits for our students and our school as a whole. And we will end it by talking about the budget, the fun money part, where we talk about what we need in order to make this program a resounding success. Here is some quick background information to the school library committee's thinking. As we all know, last year, both writing assessment scores and on a personal note, library circulation was well below expectations last year. When we got together for our meetings, we decided to come up with a way to see if we could address both of these concerns. And I think our new library program is going to do just that. We are very excited to introduce our idea, the first after school library program that our school has offered, the Authors Club. You know that Seven Hills is known for its after school programs. We have some of the highest attended after school programs in the district. But the one thing we do not have is one that focuses on me as the librarian or what the librarian can offer our students. So I'm very excited to throw my hat in the ring with this amazing after school program. Now, the Authors Club is a place where students are going to take an original story idea. We're going to work together to brainstorm ideas. We're going to go through the entire process over the course of the fall and then the spring semester. We'll get more on that in just a minute. We're going to take these stories using the computer lab and word processing uh, software. We are going to create these stories. We're going to publish them and we're going to display them in the library. We're going to create a student display or a special display just for these books. Now, what I think is fantastic is this program is not only just going to inspire students to write, it'll help them increase their creativity and hopefully get some enjoyment out of seeing this process firsthand. On a personal note, I have a feeling that if we offer these student created books in the library for students to check out or at least just read when they come to visit, it may increase traffic inside the library, which can then also increase our circulation rates. Our process for how the Authors Club is going to work is very straightforward. Like with all of our clubs and keeping with school guidelines, we are going to meet with students in the fall and then a different group of students in the spring. We're going to be focusing on students between grades two through five. What they're going to do, starting off, we're going to help them generate an original story idea. We'll then take them to the computer lab where they will write their first draft. They will start illustrating their story if they need to. And then we're going to take them through the peer review and editing process before they create their final draft. At the end, we're going to publish their final work. But throughout all of these meetings, we're going to be talking about the parts of a story, the writing process itself, why we peer review, why it's important to edit, why it's important to illustrate a certain way depending on the theme of the story, how we publish books, and we're going to introduce them to different types of technologies they may not have used before. So more than just students creating books for the library, this is a way for us to practice all sorts of not just writing skills, but 21st century learning skills as well as we utilize these digital technologies. This library program is going to focus on students from grades two through five. The reason we're targeting this group is not only do they have some basic writing skills already and are pretty good or at least pretty familiar with the writing process, these are also the age ranges where we've seen the lowest library circulation probably because their teachers do not bring them on a regular basis, but more on an as needed basis to check out books. Along also keeping with school guidelines in order to participate in Authors Club, students must be academically eligible, which means they have to have at least a C average on all of their coursework. We're going to split the group into two sections. A second and third grade group will be working with a teacher volunteer doing the same thing, but on a, a smaller scale. I'll be working with the fourth and fifth graders utilizing the different software that we have as well as illustrative software in order to bring these books together. All effective programs should be founded on solid research. 
and the Authors Club is no different. When we were creating this idea, we made special care to look and see if what we were wanting to do was supported by research out there. And of our three ideals of what we think this program can do for our school, we were able to find some solid research to back us up. In an article about balancing liter literacy programs with both reading and writing, Graham et al. talks about that writing instruction when paired with real world application, and specifically when it's tied to a reading element, when they see how they interact, sizable improvement can be seen in students' overall writing performance, which is a need here at this school. So when we're going through the writing process and we're talking about what they need to do, these students get better insight into, oh, conventions matter because someone else is going to be reading this book. I can read my own writing, but someone else is gonna read this. They may not be able to read the way that I do. So they understand the importance of writing clearly and that quality writing is what we're searching for from our students. The article also talks about that when programs are offered that blend reading and writing, this can potentially increase not just their reading knowledge, but their writing knowledge as well. It's mutually beneficial. So teaching them how to write a book and publishing that book is a fun and creative idea. But behind it, they're learning how to write well and getting excited, not just about the writing process, but the reading process too. Seven Hills is a very diverse campus. We have students from all different walks of life, from different ethnic and cultural backgrounds. And while I do my best to create a collection that reflects our school community, what better way to increase both diversity and inclusivity in our collection than by having authentic stories from our students themselves. In an amazing article called Breaking Silence and Amplifying Voices, Flores talks about that when students are able to create authentic literature that is relevant to them and their lives and their experiences, it can not only help them articulate their experiences, but others as well by experiencing their story firsthand. They can create those opportunities for others to see themselves in a story. And I think that is a wonderful thing that we can do for our school community. As educators, Flores also talks about that we need to be utilizing writing instruction that not only brings attention to issues that are present in the worlds of our students, but invites their lives into our classroom. We are saying, this idea you have for your story is just about a family trip you took. That's amazing. That is interesting and that is wonderful and we want to read about it. And it may not be something that interests every student, but I guarantee you that there's another student in this school that would be interested by that book. So the more opportunities we give our students to reflect and to authentically create for themselves through their writing, the more well-rounded our library collection is going to be. Every school district, including our own, focuses on the need to prepare our students, not just for our classes and next year's classes, but the world beyond school. And I think the best way to do that is to show them real world applications using the technologies that we have here on campus. A great article called The Writing Performance of Elementary Students Using a Digital Writing Application, the authors talk about that we are directed to design learning experiences around digital tools and resources. We're supposed to show our students how to create and collaborate using digital spaces and digital technologies. The Authors Club is perfectly set up to do that. While we're not just generating a love and excitement for writing, we are doing it in a way that also allows our students to practice and utilize 21st century technology. I really appreciated this article because it talked about how we need to rethink sometimes how we teach writing in our schools. The biggest thing that we can do is fostering students' motivation to write. How do we do that? Getting them excited about it. Well, I think writing a book that's going to be published for other students to read in our own school library is incredibly motivating, and I think our students will believe so as well. We need to make technology an integral part of our writing instruction. And while our teachers do a great job of that, this club is only going to reinforce that and the library's 
uh, role in disseminating that information and that technology. We need to increase the time our students write. And this club again gives students the opportunities to write more, not just in our after school meetings, but at home as well. And we need to connect their writing to life outside of school. That's kind of what we're doing. The whole purpose is them bringing a story and sure some of them are gonna be fiction and out there. Some of them are gonna be based in real life. But seeing a book go from, I, an I, from idea to finished product is a wonderful representation of a real world application of the writing process. Because this library program was designed with very specific goals, not just to benefit the library and increase circulation rates, but to hopefully improve writing assessment scores, we wanted to build in several ways for us to assess both during and after this program has been uh, installed to see how we're doing and if we're having an effect at all. One of the ways that we're gonna measure this program's impact on our campus is by comparing students' writing scores before they participated, so their last year scores, to their assessments after they've been in the program, in the Authors Club for a while, to see if there's any improvement. We're also gonna be looking at in circulation data for the library, especially in those four grades, two through five, but I'm particularly gonna be focusing on are students going to be checking out these student-published books and at what rate? Are we seeing more students come into the library to check out books or just stop by so they can read their friend's work? We're also gonna be providing a student survey throughout the process so they can give feedback on what they like about the program, its quality, and if there's anything they think we should change going forward. There are, in my opinion, many benefits of the Authors Club. Things that we can measure, we will see hopefully increased overall scores in our writing assessments and improved quality of writing from our participants, more diversity and inclusivity in our library collection, and students being able to utilize the technology we're providing for them. They're not seeing it as a foreign entity. They're able to get on a computer and write in a word processing application with the same skill that they could write on pen and paper. I also feel this program offers some less tangible benefits. The most important being the sense of accomplishment and pride these students are going to have once they finish this process and have a published book. They are going to be published authors with their works on display for the school. I do hope this gives them a sense of improved pride in the school and a sense of ownership of the library as now they have stake in this library because their works are there. And I also hope that they're more familiar with the 21st century skills that we keep harping on here at Seven Hills Elementary. They'll be able to sit down at a computer and use it creatively without it seeming like a foreign object. All programs, as you know, cost money, and this one is no different. We tried to cut cost where we could, but there are several things that are essential in order to make this program successful. The first thing that we're going to need is a color printer. We found one at Staples for a very good price. They're very reliable and they have great reviews. We're also going to need a binding machine as well as binding materials to uh, create our finished products and put them on display. To go with that color printer, we are going to need both black and colored ink cartridges. I believe what we've listed here will be enough to get us through the entire year. You can see all of the prices listed out. If you have any questions about it, please let me know. The last thing that we need and one of the bigger expenses is a special display case. This end of range display will go right at the end of one of our shelves where I can add a sign, student created or authors club works, and we'll have plenty of space for all of our authors published books. Again, I believe all of these are very essential, but if there's something we need to work on, just let me know and we can. Again, I want to thank the administration for listening to the School Library Committee's program idea. I really do think not only will this benefit our library um, by increasing the amount of students that we see and the overall enjoyment of our library on campus, but I do think it's going to have a lot of real tangible benefits for our students in their writing skills. I look forward to implementing this process and I cannot wait to hear your feedback. Thank you. As a last note, if you would like to read the research that the committee and myself read while we were coming up with this idea, they are listed here for your perusal. Again, thank you so much.